So you're gonna have the clear plastic side. It's hard to see in this light. Clear, it's plastic. A lot of times it'll have the grids on it, sometimes it doesn't. The back is like a waxy paper. Put the decal down on something flat, table, even a window. Rub it real good where all the image is. And that'll get it to stick to the clear transfer sheet. Make sure your window is clean, obviously. I just cleaned mine. Didn't think you'd want to see it. And then you just peel it like any kind of sticker. If it doesn't start to let's see if I can get to see. Stay on the clear. Try peeling back. It's hard to see. Any spot that seems to stay on the paper instead of the clear plastic, just try and press it together. Should peel away pretty easy. Like the letters here are going to start to stick to the paper and not the plastic. So just go slow and peel the paper back on an angle. Don't touch the decal itself with your hands if you can avoid it. Again, there's a letter down here. I'm going to work this down. Work down here. A little bit of his foot. Sometimes you got to go with different angles. Take your time. Press it. Use your nail. Get it all in one shot. I'm sorry, this is the colors aren't showing up good with the light in here. This clear plastic has an adhesive on it, and the back of the letters have adhesive. So it's going to look backwards, but then you're going to stick it onto the window or whatever you're sticking it on. Keep everything lined up. These harder ones are sometimes a pain. Alright, now let's get this side. Again, just if the letter's peeling up here, I don't know if you can see right there, just stick it down, kind of press it up against your finger on the backing. It should stick to that clear transfer sheet and lift off of this kind of wax paper that the decal is cut out of. Bigger ones I know are hard, but not much I can do about it. And try not to touch the back of the vinyl. You don't want to lose any adhesive. You want it to be a little bit warm if you can. Let it warm up if you have to. 
should it all come back off. Did that spot earlier. Let's see what we got. Probably would have been smarter to start from the letter side instead of the guy on this one, but too late now. peel off in one big sheet everything's there and lined up so what I'm gonna do is again do not touch the vinyl if you can take it over to your window where you're gonna put it line it up I like to go from the bottom try and square everything up lettering Hold it back a little, just use your thumb and try and go slow and work your way up so you get not only it even, but you don't get big pockets of air. Everything should look straight at this point. Shouldn't be any big creases or air bubbles or anything. Now when it's on here, go ahead, rub over each spot pretty firm with your thumb or again, a credit, an old credit card or any credit card or if you have like a squeegee, one of those plastic that they do the uh, tint with. Right, rub everything on there pretty good. Now go ahead and peel the plastic away again from one side to the other. If any bubbles start to form from underneath, now you can see them. Smooth them out now. Peel it back. If any spot starts to peel up with the plastic, just put it back down. Again, rub it pretty firm. And it should stick to the window. It should let you pull this off in one easy sheet without giving you a pain. And It'll go ahead and be on there. I know it's backwards because I'm backwards, but I'm not good with these foam things. So, since I'm backwards through the window, that's what it would look like. But obviously on the outside, it'll look normal. So, any questions, shoot me a message.